Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am very excited to show you guys uh, how I germinate my seeds, whether they are fruit and vegetable seeds like I have here or mango seeds. I use the same exact method and it works for me every single time. So I thought I'd share it with you guys here. Um, so for this, you need these four things. So you need some water. So I just have some water in a bowl right here. You need paper towels, you need Ziploc bags, and you need your seeds. So these are the only things you'll need. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So I'm going to take about, I think about three. So here you go. And then you take your three sheets and you fold it in half. And then I'm going to get this wet. Since I'm not near a sink right now, that's why I have the water in a bowl. And now I'm gonna open this up slowly. There you go, it's still folded in half like we did. So Now in here, you are going to choose whatever seed that you are going to be terminating. So now you're going to put this on one side of the paper towel. Okay, so just spread them a little bit apart. Just on one side. Okay, see that? I'll just do a few more. There you go. And now I'm going to use this other half and I'm going to fold it up. Kind of pat it down gently. And now I'm going to fold it in half one more time. That is all you're going to do. So now you're going to put this inside your Ziploc bag. Put it nice and flat in your baggie, just like that. Close it up, nice and secure. Put it away in a nice, secure place. So I usually just put mine on top of the fridge. So there you go, you made one. Whatever you have in the bag, make sure you label it so that you don't forget what the seeds were for. So now you repeat the same process. You would repeat this same exact process for all your other seeds. And that is all. So we will go ahead and check on these seeds one week from today. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is day seven and we are checking on what happened to these seeds. So right here we have our watermelon seeds and you can see that they have started to sprout. Here's in here. A few of them, nothing has happened yet. So we are going to, here's a third one. So we're going to have to wait for more to come out. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So this is the pepper. I don't know which pepper I've done. I did two types of peppers, so they, both the seeds look alike. And as you guys can see, a few of them have just started to come out. It looks like peppers take a long time to germinate because they barely have any germination. But we're gonna give it a few more days. Okay, let's look at the next one. Looks like I overfilled this because it looks, oh wow, look at this guys. These are all the bean, bean plants. And you can see how nice and long the roots are. Beans usually do uh, very well. They grow really fast, so there's that. Oh, I think one of my seeds fell out of one of these, so. 
Okay, let's check the next one. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. These are all the cucumber seeds and you guys can see even the plant is starting to come out. The green part is the plant that's wanting to come out. So these are definitely ready. A lot of these are ready for um, being planted inside some soil. Okay, so the next one we have here are, okay, these are pepper seeds as well. And you can see nothing really happened to these. I see one that has some form of root coming out, but yeah, so pepper seeds are usually very slow to germinate, so we'll leave these in the bag for much longer. Next one are the um, zucchini plants, so zucchini seeds, I mean. So you guys can see how long the roots are. These are definitely ready. Some of these are ready to be planted in some soil. See, some ones have little ones. Some of them don't have anything showing yet, so we are going to wait a little longer for some of them. Next one, ooh, these are my okra. I'm very excited to grow okra this year. I didn't have great luck last few times, but here, look at that. There's the okra roots, nice. So some of them don't have anything coming out of them, as you guys can see. A few of them do. This one has some mold growing around it. Here is a little one popping out of here. Mm -hmm. And the last one we have is this tomato seeds. And if you guys can see, lots of them have all germinated. Here you go. So that looks great. This definitely needs some more time though before we can plant them in the ground. So yeah, that is all for the update. This was the seventh day and I wanted to check in on day seven to see how everything was doing. And it looks like most of these are ready to be planted in soil. And that will be my next video. I'm showing you guys how I plant this in soil. Stay tuned for that video. And thank you so much for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comments in the section down below and let me know what you guys are gardening this summer. Take care and see you guys in my next video. Bye!